Should you avoid an affectionate relationship with a non-believer? My dear friends or whoever this message comes to reach, I take this time today to share a message that touches upon a delicate but crucial topic, the significance of avoiding an affectionate relationship with a non-believer. While we embark on this journey, let us embrace a spirit of openness and love as we explore the wisdom, guidance and promises found in Scripture. As we delve into this subject, I am reminded of the wise words found in Proverbs 13.20. Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. This proverb speaks to the importance of surrounding ourselves with like-minded individuals who can encourage and uplift us in our faith. It reminds us that the company we keep has a profound impact on our spiritual journey. Imagine the following scenario. You're walking down the road of life, hand in hand, with a significant other. Everything seems perfect, but then you stumble upon a fork in the road. One path leads you closer to God, while the other veers away from His divine plan for your life. Now here's where the humor comes in. Imagine your significant other saying, Honey, I love you, but I think I'll take the scenic route away from God. Now I'm not here to belittle anyone or make light of the complexities of relationships. Relationships are beautiful and they require love, understanding, and shared values. The Apostle Paul reminds us in 2 Corinthians 6.14, Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. It's like trying to mix oil and water. They simply don't blend well together. But fear not, my dear friends, for the Bible is not just a rule book, but a treasure trove of promises. As we navigate the challenging waters of relationships, we can find solace in the comforting words of Psalm 37. 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. When we align our desires with God's heart, when we prioritize our relationship with Him, we can trust that He will guide our steps and grant us the desires of our hearts in His perfect timing. Now let me share with you a heart-touching promise straight from the lips of our loving Savior, Jesus Christ. In Matthew 28, 20, Jesus declares, And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. How incredible is that? We are not alone in this journey. We have a constant companion, a faithful friend who walks with us every step of the way, with Jesus by our side, we can navigate the complexities of relationships with confidence, knowing that His love and wisdom will guide us. So, my friends, let us choose wisely when it comes to matters of the heart. Let us not settle for anything less than a relationship that honors God, aligns with our faith, and brings us closer to Him. It may require patience, trust, and even a sense of humor along the way, but the rewards will far surpass any temporary happiness that may come from compromising our convictions. In conclusion, let us remember the timeless wisdom found in Scripture. Let us heed the words of Proverbs, surrounding ourselves with wise companions who share our love for the Lord. Let us honor the Apostle Paul's guidance, seeking relationships with believers who will uplift and support us on our spiritual journey. And finally, let us cling to the heart-touching promise of Jesus, knowing that He is always with us, guiding us, and leading us to relationships that will bring us closer to Him. May you find strength and inspiration in these words, and may your path be filled with joy, love, and a deepening relationship with our Heavenly Father. Trust in His plan, follow His guidance, and experience the abundant blessings He has in store for you. And when the time to make the decision comes, I pray that you will have the strength to follow the right path, even when the circumstances and your feelings are making you confused. The Lord loves you, and I have you in my prayers. May God bless you. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and sharing with your loved ones.